This is a demonstration video showing how reactive aluminium metal can be by the chemical reaction between aluminium and sodium hydroxide. The first reaction we're going to show is sodium hydroxide solution reacting with aluminium foil. We've taken the aluminium foil and covered the top of a Pyrex beaker and now applying a small amount of sodium hydroxide onto this foil we can see the reaction. This is a fairly rapid reaction and we can see some gas being produced and also the aluminium being consumed. If we place some aluminium foil on the bottom of a Pyrex beaker and then rapidly add some sodium hydroxide solution, we can see there's a very slight delay before the reaction occurs. This delay is caused by the very thin oxide layer on the surface of the aluminium metal. However, once the oxide layer is disrupted by the sodium hydroxide, the reaction is fairly rapid. By trapping a small piece of aluminium foil under a glass funnel, we can collect the gas which is being produced by holding a test tube over the end. This gas is of course hydrogen and we can test this by lighting the end of the test tube and we hear a characteristic pop of hydrogen. The small yellow flame that you see is due to the presence of sodium. Aluminium metal and sodium hydroxide solution will continue to react as long as both reactants are present and this has even been proposed as one of the options to generate hydrogen in the hydrogen economy. If both reactants are used up, we can evaporate the water, and what we're left behind is a residue. This residue is likely to consist of a range of compounds, including sodium aluminate, aluminium oxide, and aluminium hydroxide. In the next demonstration, we're going to react an empty aluminium drinks can with sodium hydroxide solution. On filling the can with sodium hydroxide, there is a long delay before any reaction occurs. However, sodium hydroxide eventually starts to leak out of the can and into the Pyrex container. After about 20 minutes, the reaction rate increases, and we know this because we can see more hydrogen gas being produced as it bubbles through the solution. After leaving the reaction occur for about 45 minutes, although not clearly visible, it is possible to shine a torch through the aluminium can. You may have also noticed that the reaction rate with the aluminium can is not as rapid as the aluminium foil. This is because the aluminium can contains a polymer coating. There's a coating on the inside of the can to prevent the beverage reacting with the aluminium and there's a coating on the outside of the can which provides the label. This polymer coating is also providing a little bit of a barrier between the reaction between the sodium hydroxide and the underlining aluminium metal. After about two hours of exposing an aluminium drinks can to sodium hydroxide solution, we can see there's not much left of the aluminium drinks can other than the label. Thanks for watching.